Welcome back, everyone. I am joined now by Kevin, and he is here with the Cold War Patriots Group, and they are here to talk with us about a program to help out people who are suffering from different uranium exposure effects. Yes, yes. Uh, back in the year 1990, uh, Congress passed a law called the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act for uranium miners, and then in 2001, those benefits were expanded for uranium miners, and that also included nuclear weapons workers under the Energy Employees Occupational Illness Compensation Program Act. Okay. And what that does, it pays for cash, pays a cash compensation and medical benefits for individuals who've been exposed to uh, certain toxic substances, radiation at the workplace, whether it be the uranium mines or the nuclear weapons facilities. Wow, and so people obviously who have worked in these environments probably are having some sort of medical repercussions, and now this yes. program is developed to really help them and support them through that. Yes, yes it has. What it does is if they apply for the benefit and they've been diagnosed with an illness or uh, uh, some, some type of a thing, then what they could do is they could apply for the benefit, the benefit will pay them a cash compensation of up to $400,000, wow. and then lifetime medical benefits for their covered condition and that also includes home care benefits. That's incredible. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like a lot now, but I'm sure too for these people that are diagnosed with these different illnesses from the exposure, realize once those bills start to rack up, how important something like this could be. Oh, really? It can be financially devastating to people from, from all those medical bills because there's some very serious illnesses, but there's no caps, no co-pays, no deductibles for their medical treatment or their in-home care, and it's all free for them. Wow, and once you're a part of this program, you get sort of a medical card, right? That Right. You're allowed to use. Right. You get a white medical card from the Department of Labor, and what that medical card is, it's like your insurance card. P treat it like your insurance card, uh, and that would be your primary payer source for your illness that you were approved for. Okay. And you guys have a town hall that's coming up to kind of inform people about this information, especially if you're here on the Western Slope and have questions about it since you are located in Denver. Right, right. Cold War Patriots is a nonprofit organization that uh, helps support the uranium miners and the nuclear weapons workers, and we're having a town hall meeting on June 2nd at the Ramada Inn on Horizon mm -hmm. at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. to help people understand these benefits, help them uh, navigate through the complexities of the program, and really give them a lot of good beneficial information to either get their benefit or expand on the benefits that they have. Perfect. And if people, for whatever reason, can't possibly make it out to this town hall meeting, um, how should they contact you guys? Yes, we have a help center in Denver, Cold War Patriots Help Center, mm -hmm. and they can call them for, uh, we've got a number of people there that can help them answer their questions about the program. Perfect. And again, that town hall meeting is going to be on June 2nd? June 2nd, right at the Ramada Inn on Horizon. Uh, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And people can just show up. They don't need to RSVP. Or right. No RSVPs. Just show up, and we'll have some great information for them. Perfect. Thanks so much, Kevin. We Thank appreciate you. it. Uh -huh. All right. Stick around. We'll be right back after the break.